painting is good meditation. <laughs> Once you're sat, relaxed, and the paint's going well, there's nothing like it. Is it kind of a bubble? Is mm -hmm. it, can people yes, it's like you? a writer. So you go into that bubble you... until you're finished, you know. Sorry. What, when did you move to this place? Um, help. 1977. 1977. A long time ago. <laughs> he wasn't, no. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. What media do you work in? Anything unusual? Well, plaster on jute, found objects on beaches, uh, old timber, old furniture for sculptures. And then on the painting side, it's anything from watercolours, acrylics, oils, wax. Anything that comes to hand that can be used. Even gloss paint, emulsion paint. Anything? Anything at all that will give the effect. It's all about effect really, isn't it? About effect. Effect, yeah. Illusion. Illusion. Okay. Um, could you tell us some more about your paintings? About paintings. Well. About what inspires you? <coughs> inspires me. Yeah. Um, local landscape. Local landscape. Mood. Mood of the weather. How the garden's going. How it's looking. Mood swings in weather. Mood swings in light. I think it's important how you feel when you're painting. For me it is, anyway. How you feel? Yeah. As in a way, in a good way or in a bad way? Or well, a good way. In a good way. What artists have influenced you? And how? Oh, artists like Dali. De Kooning. And Rauschenberg. They're all old school. Yeah. And what do you, what do you, like how did it influence you? Oh, just the way they use materials. The materials, okay. Yeah. What other interests do you have besides painting? What do you do for fun or for relax? Oh, the garden. The garden? The garden. The beautiful garden. Mm -hmm. So the garden relaxes you? Very much, yeah. Does it give you, it gives you inspiration <coughs> as well? Yes. What is if you are if you get stuck with the idea or if you can't paint or you don't have motivation? What do you what do you do to keep painting? Uh, I wouldn't paint. I'd sketch. You sketch. Yeah. Why would you sketch and not paint? Um, just to get myself in that word again, the mood. Okay. Is it kind of a routine? It's a routine and it's very relaxing to just lose yourself in. And it does it give you motivation as such? Your you're doing in, and then later on you... It would inspire a painting, but I wouldn't copy the sketch on the painting. It would just be ideas from the sketch. Okay, okay. What do you enjoy most about um, painting or being an artist? I enjoy the exhibitions. The exhibitions. And, and the panic of getting ready for the shows. And, and <coughs> do you enjoy how people look at your pictures? Absolutely. So it is also the success? Yeah. You see, that all goes in and I know what's next to be done from exhibitions, how they respond. And Not so much what sells, but how people respond to them. Do you know how other people think of it, other artists or normal, say normal people as such, that like? Peers, yeah. Um, other artists, some I get on with, some I don't, but yeah, they're okay with the work. They're okay with the work? Mm -hmm. Is there anything you're kind of famous for? Anything that would, or would you think something makes you special or makes you look out? Probably Anything? just individuality. Individuality, probably. Okay. Um, I'm very much skirting around this idea of how other artists work. I'm just trying to do my own thing. Did you get any critics in your life where you thought, like, did you ever doubt? No. No, never. No. So, but you got critics from people. I've had good critics all the way, so far. 
and how do you handle bad critics? Um, what poison. <laughs> But would you take it in? Would you think about it? Oh, of course, yeah. So you would think about, would you change it? What no. So you're pretty comfortable with your own? Pretty stuck in that tram line, yeah. I wouldn't alter it for anybody's... Patricia, yeah. Patricia might say, that doesn't look quite, and then I would alter it, and she's right. Because she knows. She knows, but other artists I wouldn't listen to. Some of them can be very cruel, but no. It doesn't matter. Do you try to tell stories with your paintings? No. No, no not really. No stories. Even titles I find very difficult. Because they, they can mislead people. Okay. If you paint a garden and put Enchanted Garden as the title, they're going to think, oh, it's enchanted, rather than them think what it is, if you know what I mean. <coughs> Do you want people to know? Not particularly. It's better for them to look at it and go, oh, I see, yes. Even if I wouldn't see it, <laughs> true, true. that's kind of touching, you know. Yes. So you don't title your pictures at all, or you? Oh, I do. Yeah, you have to. Because some people say, "Oh, I want a title." So. Oh, okay. The and titles are a bit abstract, but they seem to like them. Okay, you seem to be a very prolific painter. Mm -hmm. Um, your work seems to be filled with intense emotion. Yes. Is painting like a release for you, or is it emotionally dra draining? Oh, a release. A release. Mm -hmm. A release of the... Because all the emotion is going at that moment onto the canvas. And then Whether it's a good emotion or a, a sad emotion. Would you come back to the pictures? Say, you have an emotion, you're painting, you're leaving it for one day, could you come back and get them to oh, the Oh, sure, scene? I'd come back after a year. I'll finish a painting even. Would you know when to stop? No. Or could you paint a picture for you? I'd never know when to stop. Pat will usually say that's enough, stop. But you, why, why can't you stop? Is it always... Well, you have to stop, you have to... Uh, yeah, at one point. Discipline yourself to stop, yeah. But what makes it, like... Do you like to paint a picture over years? Do you like to come back? Oh, I'd rather do it in the day, to tell you the truth. But as in, I mean, obviously, if you come back in a year, you you weren't really satisfied with the picture. So, or is it because you just don't want it? It's to do with drying time. Drying uh, time. Texture, if you're building texture up, you'd have to wait months anyway for paint to dry. Okay. So you tend to put them to buy for a couple of months, and then a year you go, oh, yes, that yeah. one. But it's easy to pick up on them again. Would you have to get into the mood again? Did you ever have a painting where you couldn't get into? Yes, just scrap them. You just <laughs> paint them over and start again. Yeah. Paint them over. Some canvases might have three or four paintings on. <coughs> you need X-ray. <laughs> Ten years ahead. As an artist, no, I couldn't say that. How did people react? Your relatives and you know, like people who were maybe not into that. Strange thing is, once I was painting and earning a living, and well, they were cool with it. It was okay. So I think the initial fear was that I'd end up in the gutter somewhere, penniless. Would you mind that? No. So you wouldn't care. It wouldn't bother me. I was always discouraged when I was young. <clears throat> you know, nine to five job. I want to be an artist. Oh God, hands up in the air. Thing. So. It wasn't until I escaped to this place that I really got seriously into it. Because cities are such a distraction. Yeah. As you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, that's it. So basically, what, if someone is starting off, they should actually. <coughs> 
you know, as you said, the, the way people say, ah, don't become an artist, come on, this is ridiculous, yes. it's not a proper job. Oh, start as early as you can. As early as Best you advice can. I could give. So, because you would think it takes a lot of practice and it's... Oh, sure. Just to find yourself? As to answer artist. your question, in 10 years down the line, I'd like to be a better artist. <laughs> really. It's a learning process, all the way. Do you think it's a routine as well? Oh, uh, monotonous routine, yeah. So it's a, it actually, because you know the way people say, okay, you're a painter, you have the talent, you don't need to do anything. That's what the most people who are not into painting mm. think, you know, that people are talented. It's true in a way. But... I mean, but after 25 years, it does come very naturally. Yeah. The basics do. But it took a long time oh, to actually God, yes. develop. Yeah. And you think it would take a long time to actually find yourself in the way you you paint and you being self-taught. I think so. Yeah. Did you know that at the beginning? How did you start off? When did you make your first painting? Goodness. When I was a child, I suppose. Did you? <coughs> Did you know you wanted to go? Oh, yes. You knew that? Yeah. Could you define art? Could you define, you know, uh, like nowadays everyone is an artist. Mm. I mean, like someone who does business, someone who sells stocks, whatever, mm -hmm. you know. Everyone is kind of, the, you know, in this way an artist. Could you define? It's a law unto itself, isn't it? Art. Could, would you think someone can actually define it? Would you think people can say, okay, this people is have tried. People have tried, but do you think it's actually possible? Um, like, who gives you the right to say you're an artist or you're not? Oh, I do. You do. I so do. it's just a. I mean, if the world argued it, I'd still be an artist. style of art um, really makes you angry? Is there anything you recent? Chocolate box art, I think. Chocolate box art. I have done it when I've needed money and it's not funny. Well, what is chocolate box? Oh, a windowsill with a flower pot on it and the cat sitting next to it. So Painted like a photograph and, you know, and nothing Why? against cats on windowsills. But <laughs> Depends how they are. Why would you think it's it's easy done or it's not much put into? Well, not a lot of thought goes into it. You know. It's not very original, is it? No, it's not very original. Well, not, that, not that I'm knocking it, but I, I couldn't cut it. No. Well, just, uh, yeah. I you know might, as well be, might as well be working in a factory if you're going to churn them out like that. So that, uh, does that really... Um, does if I have to do it, yeah. But I haven't done it for a long time. <laughs> What do you think? Uh, so you think that sells quick? Yes. Why? Uh, it just appeals to a different audience altogether. Do you think people would buy who have not a really good clue of art or painting? Or it's just about people's taste, taste, I think, more than anything. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>